fits the bill for all the superlatives. It's the cheesiest, it's the pulliest, it's the sauciest, and it's the thickest. It hits all the marks. I can't stop eating it. Malnati's is the oldest name in Chicago pizza. This recipe has been around since the 40s. It's never been changed. That is what really sets us apart, besides the butter crust. First time trying dip dish pizza. When I came to Chicago, this was the place I wanted to come. I was told that you don't start this pizza by the tip. You actually start at the crust and get a little tiny sliver. That way you get everything in one bite. I have the upper arm strength of a child. Can I fit this? Overall, pizza was great. I had high hopes for Lou's and it was definitely a lot more than what I was expecting, so I would give it an 8.5 for overall taste. I really like it, but because I wanted a little bit more taste from the crust, I'll go with an 8. So we went to Illuminati's and we just weren't that impressed and so we actually kind of gave up on Chicago pizza until we came to Ed Giordano's. We use a lot of cheese in our pizzas. Our large pizza has upwards of two pounds of cheese in it. I don't think any pizza in Chicago gives a cheese pull like ours does. You can wrap this cheese around like a scarf. I am not a true Chicagoan. I can't do the scrape for my life. First, you get the theatrics of the pizza, right? But theatrics aside, the taste of the pizza actually speaks for itself. Every element of the pizza works. This pizza fits the bill for all the superlatives. It's the cheesiest, it's the pulliest, it's the sauciest, and it's the thickest. It hits all the marks. Overall, taste-wise, I would give it a seven. As much as the cheese pull was great, I would have liked more sauce, the crust would be a little thinner. That was hands down the most incredible cheese pull I've ever seen. Overall taste, I would go with a 9.5.